You guys remember when video game commercials were fucking weird? Nerd Lair. The Nerd Lair remembers. I find old commercials really fascinating because uh, it's just a timepiece of uh, you know what was going on in the world at the time. And today on this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys some video game commercials ranging from the 90s to early 2000s that'll make you go, what the fuck? Let's get into the first commercial that I'm gonna show you guys, which is a PlayStation 3 commercial. <laughs> What was that? Let me know down in the comments below if you guys remember this commercial, because I definitely don't. It feels like it's a little too weird to be a North American commercial. I'm thinking it might be a Japanese one, uh, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Let me know if you if you know this answer. All right, let's take a look at the next commercial, which is an Xbox commercial. <laughs> This legit is how it felt to play the original Xbox back in the day. Life is short, play a lot of video games, have a good time because before you know it, you're gonna be fucking old and dead. Next commercial. When is too much, too much? To find out who crammed everything into Super Mario World 2 Yoshi's Island. 60 more levels, massive enemies, huge Yoshi tricks. All served up to the latest graphic technology, Morphmation. Hmm, I'm not sure you don't have room for another little bonus level. Uh -oh. Super Mario World 2, only on the Super NES. I'm pretty sure the director of this commercial had a feeder fetish. They got this fat, greasy Italian dude shoving his face with spaghetti and jello and other fucking gross food items that don't go together. It's funny how weird and gross Nintendo used to be with their advertising. It's like Nintendo used to be this weird, sex-crazed pervert with a bunch of fetishes, and all of a sudden he like found God and he's just vanilla as fuck. Nintendo, did you find God? Excuse me, sir, do you have a minute to talk about the good Lord the Bowser? Yeah, this commercial is fucking gross, so next Next commercial! You are approaching Saturn. You are only seconds away. I have arranged for you to meet my companion. He will lead you. Watch and listen. Please don't disappoint him. He doesn't like that. We are five years away from entering the 21st century. Humankind stands on the edge of the interactive age. You have come a long way. But are you ready for the future? Introducing Sega Saturn. Aww. Hit it. Sega's next generation gaming platform, revolutionary sports and arcade gameplay, all with amazing new 3D experiences never before possible on home game systems. Wow. Sega Saturn. There's something really erotic about this commercial and 
I'm kind of into it. I'm also getting like Hellraiser vibes for some reason. It, I don't know, something about it just seems kind of Cenobite-ish. It's really weird though. I wouldn't say it's creepy, but it's definitely um, got some Blade Runner type vibes too. I don't know, just kind of cyberpunk in general. And then it's got the weird 90s looking kid uh, dancing around and then it, the tone is completely shifted. Um, it's definitely a cool one though. Um, Never owned a Sega Saturn back when uh, they were new, because uh, who else did? Next commercial! Hey, little buddy, want a ride? Pikachu! Yeah, whatever! I'll be right back! Where can you catch all 150 Pokemon? Yeah. On your Game Boy, that's where. Pokemon for Game Boy is here. With both packs, you can catch them all. <laughs> Games and systems sold separately. This is definitely a classic Pokemon commercial. I remember seeing this all the time as a kid, um, and it's still just as weird as it was back then. I don't understand Nintendo's obsession with having fat, sweaty guys in their commercials from back in the day. Uh, makes them like 10 times creepier for some reason. On top of the fact that it's a bus driver luring Pokemon into his bus, to murder them. Maybe this is why most of us are so weird now from seeing all these weird fucking commercials. Let's move on to the final commercial. I called the witch doctor, he told me what to do. He said, ooh ee, ooh ah ah, tang tang, wah wah bing bang. That means play Dr. Mario on Game Boy or NES. Tang tang, wah wah bing bang. And then he struck my head. We have a very, very ethnic looking witch doctor um, playing Dr. Mario with some kid. <laughs> I love the uh, makeup that they did with the bone through his nose. That was really cool. Uh, the whole thing is just really what the fuck. I'm fighting the urge to call this one kind of racist, but um, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, who am I to say what's racist and what's not? Maybe it's not. Um, it feels that way now. Uh, definitely back then, I'm sure it probably wouldn't have uh, come across that way. Again, Nintendo used to push the line, man, because um, they were in competition with Sega. Sega was doing the same thing. Sega would come out with a commercial that kind of trashed on Nintendo. Um, but was also kind of edgy and cool. And so Nintendo would have to do the same thing, um, either by making it gross uh, or kind of pushing the limits on what's PC and what's not. Um, again, this topic uh, probably wouldn't have been such a big thing back when this commercial came out. Times have changed uh, and now it just comes off kind of racist. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know your guys' thoughts on all of these commercials that I've showed you down below in the comments section. And if there's a weird commercial that you remember from back in the day, uh, let me know what it is because I might do another video like this uh, with more commercials. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel because I do content like this every week so there's always something to watch. Be sure to follow me on social media as well. Links are down below in the description. The one I'm on the most is Instagram. So if you want to hit me up on there, or check out what I'm doing when I'm not making videos. And that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. And I will see you next time in the nerd lair. Stay fucking weird.